Friday night, first beer of the weekend, review time. We have got this, look at the colour on that. My god, that is a beautiful pink colour. Can only be one thing, it's a raspberry beer. This is a raspberry wheat. This is from, I never thought to ask you whether to out you or not. Should I out you and tell people who you are? Yeah, okay, Gavin, get in Devlin. This is uh, from you. So, it's like, I think I only got this yesterday, was it? So, I'm going to crack into it now. Now, I, um, I generally like to leave them to you to settle for a while, but uh, yeah, in this case, I'm going for A because it's off the keg, and 2, A and 2, and B because he uh, said it was off the keg and it's a bit flat or something like that, so that's a bit, it's not exactly rock hard, so. I mean, it could be I open it and it starts going, so I've had beers like that, so. But it could be flooded pancake, who knows. I've actually got the note. I don't normally, I normally look at the notes and put it down, usually upstairs, and then I come out here and do a beer review. But I actually have it, so I'm going to read it. Okay, so yeah, raspberry wheat. 58% golden promise. Love golden promise. 33% wheat malt. So, it's not, so I mean, it, there's a good bit of wheat on it, but is it a wheat beer? Mm, I don't know. 33% wheat. It should be enough to taste it anyway, let's be honest. 8% oats. Um, so there should be, I mean, if it's fizzy, it should have a nice big head on it. Um, 3 kilos of raspberries. Wow, 3 kilos. <whistles> nice. You get the feeling I'm going to get the... On WLP 320. Not a classic half yeast. Um, oh, why? 320 is the. Is that the American one? The American half of isn't it? I don't think I've had that one yet, or have I? Have I? Don't know, I can't remember. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Yeah, okay. So, here we go. Here we go, Gav. Let's do it. Hoping this is carved. Not a big hiss. Oh, it smells like it smells like raspberries. I don't think we're gonna get too much carb on it. Gosh, look at this! Look at this fucking thing! Woohoo! Oh my god! Look at the color on that! Wow! I tell you what. I have had um, raspberry wheats before now. Never made one myself, but I've had a good couple from Frank and a, at least one, if not more, from Paul over in Donegal. But theirs are always nice and clear and stuff. That though, holy fuck, that's like a bloody New England IPA. Um, but it's bright red. That is absolutely fantastic. Oh my god, look at that thing. It's like a bloody, it's like something you bring the planes in on the runway. Just hold that up in the air and just let them go the other one. Anyway, never mind. In terms of carbonation, there is, I can see it coming up the side. Perhaps a widget of glass might have been better. But hey, it's a wheat beer so I wasn't sure what to do. Um, there definitely is carbonation in there, which is good. Top, there's not much of a head. It's just like that type of thing going on. However, it's kind of... It's kind of got the top on it that you can see that there is a bit of like um, if that was basically if that was a bit more carbonated that would be a big fluffy thing. I'm sure when you pour it off the keg, that's a lovely one. Oh, let's... Seriously, seriously, that is one of the nicest beers look to look at. And anyone's sent me. I mean, it looks. It actually looks thick. In the glass. Wonder can we get a bit up? Anyway, I'm getting carried away by how beautiful it is. It is. It is though. That is amazing. Oh my god! See the next time I do raspberries, I want mine to look like that. Really bright as well too, like that. Oh, that's fantastic. That's absolutely fantastic. Nose is raspberries, what do you expect? 
I wonder does it say any, what kind of hops did you use, did you even tell me what it was, no, hops aren't important, I think, it's basically all raspberry, it's not a kind of, it's not a massive hit of raspberries, although maybe that's something to do with the carbonation, okay, oh god, this is going to be good, this is going to be good, thanks Kevin for saying this to me, Ooh, that's a nice mouthfeel on that. It is a big mouthfeel. A lot of raspberry on it. There is the kind of raspberry twang. But the body is really heavy, which kind of makes you think it's a bit more sweet than it probably is. Whereas with the other raspberry wheat beers I've had, the body's definitely been less, really light. And you kind of get the real kind of tartness from the raspberries, but that, that is like, has gone the other way. And that's nice. And to genuinely, that is nice. Oh. oh yeah, I like that. Again it's that it's the WF P three twenty, but I'm not getting any kind of any classic wheat beer vibes off it. It's just big thick raspberry milkshake. Not it's not quite the full milkshake. But it's it's definitely getting there. It's like it might be worth doing this, doing a milkshake, but not going with the whole um, lactose on the the um, maltodextrin. Funnily enough, at the um, at the craft beer festival, yes, I do remember that it was there. It was this time last week. Well, I remember going in, I don't remember coming out. Um, they had something called a. This is completely off topic, Gavin, I'm sorry. Had something called a vegan milkshake. So when I asked what the hell a vegan milkshake was, basically they didn't use lactose, they used um, maltodextrin. So there you are. That's just on a side. It just came back to me there. Flashbacks, you know. Like war flashbacks. <laughs> Um, yes, so, anyway, I'm really liking this, I don't think you said what percent it is, if it was the guess, it's very difficult, because it's big and thick and you think it's going to be a lot, 5.5%, 6% maybe. But that could just be the body on it. Yeah. Definitely like that. I can't get off that colour now. I'm sure you're delighted with this game. Look at that fucking colour in that. I'll say it one more time. It is, I hope that's coming out in camera. As I can see it on the screen here. Because that is absolutely fantastic. That is luminous blood. Almost. That is amazing. So yeah, I think you've definitely um, you've got my attention with this game. I'm thinking I'm already my brain starting to go about what I can do with this and what I would like to make myself. Okay, I'm gonna have to wrap it up because the kids are coming in. So I love it, game. Cheers. <laughs>